welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a three color build challenge in Bloxburg. The rules for this challenge are, I have to spin a wheel with all of the Bloxburg colors and whichever three colors the wheel decides for me are the only three colors that I am able to use in this build. I really hope you all enjoy, so let's get right into the video. So I have written down all of the Bloxburg colors on this wheel and I will be spinning it to get the three colors that I will be able to use today. So, let's start. And the first color is bronze. All right, I wrote it down. And for the next color, is ah oh it's gonna, gonna be fog dark green and the last color will be let's see olivine or olive olivine I think all right so the colors that I will be able to use are bronze, dark green, and olivine. Okay, so I am in Bloxburg now, and I don't think I want it to be very big. I think I'll just make it quite small. That way, I don't have to worry about coloring something super big. So uh, let's just start with the basic. Okay, so the colors I have, let's find them. Um, I think, where's dark green? Dark green is right here. I have dark green, which looks like that. Bronze, I believe is over here. Bronze, I might use that for the outside. And then I have olivine, which is Right here that is actually a really nice color for plants I actually use this all the time but I think for the outside I'll use bronze maybe let's see what this looks like okay so bad we should probably add some lighting because I can't see anything here we can just do that I guess that's easier okay so let's look for bronze again and I guess that looks nice I guess it's kind of going like cottage core themed colors. Um, the walls could be green. Could they be dark green? That just kind of looks weird. I think the walls should just be plain olivine. Like no specific. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of green. Maybe I'll keep that area. Like, what are the different rooms gonna even be? I'm not sure. I think this will be a kitchen, and then I can make the bedroom will or no bedroom could be here and then kitchen living room what about bathroom bathroom kitchen living room area okay i think that looks good and i'll need to add some more walls so let's do that really quick this is actually going really well I was not expecting it to go this well. This is really nice. Okay. And, you know, maybe I should make the roof the same as the floor. I think that'll make it look a bit nicer. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. I love these lights so much. I don't really like the new ones. There we go. They do kind of go out a bit, but I think I'm not really going to add much to the living room. It's just going to be a bit, like, plain. Not plain, but like, yeah, you'll see. But I think I'm just going to add some log armchairs. Maybe one there and one there. Or, like... that 
and then we can add like a little TV. Okay, yeah, I think this looks really nice actually. I know I keep saying that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, there, maybe not, maybe there, does that look nice? No, I think it needs to be symmetrical. Okay. Yes, okay, I love this so much better now. It looks so much nicer. And then the rest can be lighter. And then maybe this. No, that can stay. Okay. Ooh. Um. I'll just make the bathroom darker. And I don't want to delete the whole wall. I'm too lazy to do that. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry for all the clicking. I'm clicking a lot in this video. Okay. That looks nice. Now let's just add a rug, because I love rugs. This one looks nice. And let's use olivine and dark green. And let's not change the texture, because I kind of like that texture for this room. I guess aesthetic. Wait, maybe I should make it, maybe I should make the outside bronze. Or backwards, should I do? that on the outside and bronze for the actual rug itself you know i kind of like that we're gonna do that we're doing that put that on there oh my gosh this actually is looking a bit nicer we'll add an icebox fridge right there or maybe no i think it needs to be right here okay there we go and let's add where is it counters there it is and i think we should use this elegant counter because i think it matches the rest of the aesthetic of this house i'm not really sure what i'm talking about but i think it does yeah that looks really weird okay i think that that's just gonna have to be the kitchen I'll recolor it and add some cabinets and everything, but that's just kind of what it's gonna have to be. There's not really that much space. Add some tall traditional. That can go up there. And then the rest. Or this needs to go there as well. And then microwave shelf perfect okay why did my voice get so high okay so this entire video is just gonna be me saying okay and hmm hmm okay i think this looks really nice on sliding even though it's so dark why i'll have to add some stuff here and maybe i'll add like a table here Okay, so I think that's good for these two rooms. Not really rooms, I guess, just area. Now, I will add a bedroom. It's not going to be too detailed because I don't really know what else I can do to make it look nice. I think it'll just have to be this. I'll add a window and some stuff, but other than that, I think this is just going to have to be it. Okay, perfect! Okay, I actually kind of think this looks nice. Maybe change this up a bit. Perfect. This looks so much better now. I think I'll add windows last because there's not really any, any place to actually put them. But let's see. Let's go to plumbing. This is the last room I need to decorate. And I think I'll add this hygienic, hygienic, hyg eh, shower. And this tilt wall toilet and then i think i'll steal this counter over here oh i need a sink in the kitchen but i'll steal this counter and i will add an elegant sink perfect nice little bathroom sort of okay but right over here i need a kitchen sink all right so, 
I think this should be olivine. Okay, I think that looks nice enough. Oh my gosh. And I was disconnected. All right, I'm back again. My internet just does not want to work for me right now. Okay, so I need to paint this as well. So I guess I'll do this and then this can be bronze. Sure, why not? Um, I think this part right here needs to be bronze and maybe this part here needs to be bronze as well. Yes, that looks so much better. That's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. I really don't know what else to add. Maybe I'll add like a little kitchen dining area. There's a circular table. Oh, this is a coffee table. I thought that was a full size table. That would have been so nice. <gasps> 20 round dining table. Sure. I'm not looking for style anymore at this point. I'm just kind of... Let's just put this here. Because why not? And it'll see... It. One, because I live here alone. Now, I'm going to do a bit on the outside. Add a bit more lighting. And some windows. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. Alright guys, so here is my finished house. It is very dark, and I kind of like it. I honestly thought it wouldn't turn out this good, and even though it is kind of plain and doesn't really have that much in it, I think that it kind of looks cool. So, let's get into the tour. So I have this pathway up here, it's all overgrown, and porch lights! Everyone knows I love porch lights. So, in here, we have the bedroom, which is pretty plain. But, we have the close-upable curtains, which I love, like, so much. I have this dining table, which looks pretty nice. I mean, I think it adds to the like center because without it it would have just been super boring here's this little kitchen not really any counter space but i mean i didn't have very much space okay and here is the living room where you know what i think i am going to do that i think that makes it look a lot nicer in here and here is the bathroom also with closable curtains so yeah
that's gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye